Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my annual what's in my purse video for 2023. I've been posting what's in my purse videos on every single January 1st of every year since 2018. So this is my fifth year in a row posting this video. It's kind of like a little tradition that I started for myself and you guys seem to really like when I do these. So I'm really excited. I say this every year, but my what's in my purse video that I did in 2018 really helped kickstart my channel and it got a lot of exposure that year and I gained a lot of subscribers for me at the time. And so that video always holds a really special place in my heart and I'll be forever grateful for that. So with that being said, I like to do it every year and I'm really excited about this year's because I have my new baby with me. This is my newest edition and it is my favorite bag in the whole wide world and I'm pretty sure it'll always be my favorite bag probably until I die so I'm really excited this is gonna be a really raw real what's in my purse um I've only been carrying this bag for about a week so it doesn't have like a ton of random items in it but I'm sure we'll find a few um but yeah I will have all these items that I show in today's video listed and linked in the description box for you guys to shop and without further ado let's get into the video so I did just do a full-on unboxing on this bag in my what I got for Christmas video and it's a really in-depth detailed review on this bag I tell you my whole backstory behind getting this bag how I got it all that fun stuff so I will have that linked in the description box if you guys want to go check that out I highly recommend it but for this video I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the bag it's just gonna be about what's inside my bag so if you guys want a more in-depth review on this bag definitely go check out that video so this is my newest addition to my purse collection and it'll probably be the last bag that I buy for a very long time because she was expensive and I really don't want any other purse like ever like it's gonna take a really special bag to catch my attention from now on because I literally have my dream bag literally since I was so young this has always been in my dream bag so this is the Chanel classic flap in the small size and the black caviar with the gold hardware so since it is the small size obviously it's not gonna fit a ton um but I'll show you guys what I currently carry in it okay so when you open it up it has a double flap and you can kind of like close the double flap it's got a button that you can close um, but I never do that because it's just, I would be so difficult and annoying trying to get into my bag. But I think that the reason why it's a double flap situation is for more security, but it is kind of annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so this is what it looks like right now from this view. So starting off, we'll go in this front pocket. I normally don't really put anything in this pocket. So I just have a receipt. Yeah, I bought something from Saks Fifth Avenue and it was the wrong size. So I had to return it to FedEx. So that's my receipt so that I can track my return. That's all that I have in this pocket for right now. Okay, so for the main compartment, I'm just gonna start pulling things. So first thing that I have are my keys. Um, Nothing special, I'm pretty sure this Louis Vuitton key pouch has been mentioned in all of my what's in my bag videos that I've ever posted on YouTube. I've had this thing for like four or five years, but she's great. I literally only keep one card in there and this is the key card that I have to use to get into any of the doors in my apartment. Like I literally cannot get into my building at all without this card. I can't even get into the stairwells. So I always keep one in this key pouch just in case like I don't bring my purse or something. And then I also have some keys. One's to my parents' house and one's to my lake house. I don't know what this silver key is. I honestly think it might be the key to the boutique that I used to work at. I don't work there anymore. They literally sold it to somebody else. So I need to get rid of that if that's what I think it is. I don't need that, but yeah. And then I also have the key to my mailbox for my apartment. And then this is how I get into my door, my apartment door. And then I have my key to my car. And I had this like situated a little bit better. I was supposed to put this whole situation on this ring but my dad had to take my car today to get the windshield looked at it's a long story so yeah i need to fix that but i just haven't had time because i literally just got my car back but yeah i also have this white range rover case for my keys i'll have that link down below i think i got it on amazon but it's just a good way to protect it and i like how it's white because my normal key is black and silver so yeah those are my keys, nothing special. Okay, and then I also have my wallet, which is really freaking cute because she matches my classic flap. So I don't even know what 
This is called, I think it's like the Chanel quilted card holder, something. I'll have a link down below. But yeah, so this is my wallet, it's black caviar, literally just like my purse. And it holds so much, like it literally holds everything that I need it to. I have some cash in the back. And then I have a bunch of cards that I don't like always need back here, like insurance, two credit cards, a debit card, a Venmo card, some gift cards, like honestly just random stuff. And then in the front, I keep my main cards. So I have my Amex and then I have my driver's license. Try not to show you guys. And then I have another key card to get into my apartment just because I'm terrified of not having one of these with me at all times. So yeah, that's what's it's my wallet. And then let's see. Okay, I have two small things. I have some Advil. I am that girl that keeps Advil on deck at all times. Like I'm always that friend that my friends come to and ask for Advil because they know I have it. So I literally have like 20 of these reusable containers and I just fill them up when I run out. And then I also have the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer for like a chapstick lip balm situation. I actually don't have any lip glosses. Oh my gosh, you guys, how long has this been on my sleeve? That's embarrassing. It's an eyelash bully. That was in my bag. And I need to throw this one away now because there's something in it. But yeah, I keep an eyelash bully in my bag because I have lash extensions, but okay. What I was saying is I don't keep any lip glosses in my bag. Usually if I'm wearing makeup that day and I'm going out, I'll take whatever lip gloss I'm using for that night and stick it in my bag. But I don't like to have random lip glosses in my bag because I don't know. I just like to have whatever I'm using that night in my purse to touch up, but yeah. Okay, and then that's all that I have like in this main compartment. I can fit my phone in here, but I don't. I'm always that girl that just carries my phone. Like I never ever put it inside my purses. <laughs> so yeah, but it can fit. And then back here, you have like a, a weird situation. It's like two little pockets and then a center compartment. And this, <laughs> this is really funny because this is where Coco Chanel used to store her lipsticks in this little compartment back here. But I just keep my Listerine strips because I used to be a gum girl. Like I used to always carry gum, but funny, not so funny story. It got to the point where I had so many accidents with gum. Like I'd be out at the bar and I would spit my gum out in my wrapper and put it back in my purse. I don't know why. And it got all over my Chanel wallet and it was kind of hard to get off. So now I don't really carry gum in my purse like that because I never know if I'm gonna be dumb. So I just like to have these strips. I keep gum in my car, but these are just really quick. And I got like a huge pack on Amazon. And then I'm trying to show you guys, it's really hard. Okay, yeah, I don't think I have anything in this pocket, but in this one, I keep some medicine. So I have Zofran for nausea. Zofran is the best thing to ever exist. It has saved me so many times. Um, so I have Zofran, I have Sudafed, and I have an acid pill because I have really bad heartburn and stomach acid, I guess. Yeah, so I always keep that with me in this little, this little baggie, it's really cute. You have no idea, like I literally cannot leave the house without my medicine bag, I have to have it. And that's all that I keep on the inside of my bag. And then in this pocket back here, this pocket was actually meant for easy access for tipping, like just to throw like cash in there or whatever. That's what Coco Chanel wanted it to be used for, but I just don't personally put cash back there. Um, but it is a smart concept. I also forgot to mention that there is a zipper right here where Chanel used to store her love letters, but it only goes up. I don't know, super weird. If any boy wants to write me a love letter, be my guest, I'll put it in there. But in this back pocket, I just have two things. I have a Band-Aid, this is like a blister one. Let me just tell you, that is the worst pain in the whole world. When you have a blister, you're breaking in some new shoes and you don't have a Band-Aid for it and you're miserable, like that is, that is the worst. So I always keep at least one with me. I should also probably put a regular Band-Aid in here as well. And then I also keep a Purell hand sanitizing wipe because another weird fact about me, I don't like hand sanitizer because I'm terrified, especially in this bag of it spilling everywhere. Um, I just don't trust it. So I like to keep one of these with me and whenever I use this one, which is pretty much daily, I will take another one out of my drawer and put it back in my bag. So kind of, you know, unnecessary and excessive, but I just, I don't trust hand sanitizer. So yeah, that's everything that is in my bag at the moment. I also forgot to show you guys, but I have this organizer that I got, I think from Zumoni, Zumani, and it's specifically for this Chanel bag and it matches pretty well. It's not an exact match, but I have this just to kind of keep the bags shape when I'm not using it. 
but I don't like to use it with my stuff because I feel like it takes up so much room. So yeah. All right, guys, that is it for today's What's in My Purse for 2023. My first video of 2023, super exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, click that bell. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which are on the screen and also listed and linked in the description box below. I will have all these items that I mentioned listed and linked in the description box for you guys to shop. Let me know your purse essentials, what I should be carrying. Obviously, I don't have that much more room to work with, but I still can fit a few more items, but these are just like my necessities um, and my essentials. So let me know your guys' essentials um, down below. Give me some ideas. I love you guys so, so much. And I will hopefully see you very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.